Okay, well, this is the Carnival Excursion, Mayan Ruins, uh, with the Lazy River and Cenote Swim. Uh, once again, with Carnival. Uh, yeah, so this is the second part video. Uh, the first one was the Mayan Ruins, and this is going to be the Lazy River and the Cenote Swim. So we're now just working down the stairs. We already kind of walked through the park, which has a bunch of amenities in it. Um, but this is the Cenote right here. Uh, one of right two. Side, there is that platform with the steps to go into the water. But we can't jump, remember? No handballs, no diving, no jumping. The only jumping area is this step. There you go, you can jump off of that step. <laughs> just fish. Nothing that could harm me. So, yeah, just stepping on down and, uh, it's a really nice sight, uh, you know, really cool down there. The water temperature, I think it's about 70 degrees or so, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, but you know, it, it hits you, you know, when you first jump in, um, but it was nice and refreshing. And I think everybody else thought so as well, uh, you know, cause coming off that bus from the ruins and, uh, you know, it's pretty hot outside. It's nice to plunge in there and, and get wet. Yeah, so as you can see, there's not much going on under the water. I know that there was another video, but people kind of wanted to see the the underwater view. Uh, and there's nothing in here. So if you're kind of scared that there might be fish or, um, you know, some kind of aquatic animal that <laughs> that might come out and get you, uh, there's no there's no uh, there's no Loch Ness monster or anything like that in here. Um, yeah, you can see how clear it is. You can see yourself through the water from underneath. And, uh, yeah, just kind of waiting on everybody to get in. And we were just kind of hanging out there. And then they have some stairs over here for another access as well, other than the one that he mentioned. Um, so, as you can see, there's plenty of people in this excursion. Um, that was kind of the annoying part. But, you know, you can't help it. Uh, but it still didn't ruin the experience. It's just, you know, a lot of people trying to swim through this not so lazy river i mean that's that's one downside to it you know they say lazy river but you you really have to kick to get through this thing there's no water flow coming through here um so you're, you're not drifting down at all um so yeah it just took a little effort um but after a few minutes you, you know you start to get into your groove and you just keep working your way down uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely a great experience when you're in the water and just working your way down the river here. As you can see, you know, it's beautiful, you know, foliage everywhere. Uh, lots of cool plants and vines and stuff. Looks super like you're in a jungle, like super authentic. Um, even though from what I can tell, they kind of carved this thing out, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what it looked like originally, but I mean, they did a great job with it, um, to accommodate all the tourists, uh, but it still got that jungle vibe to it. Sorry for the droplets on the camera. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool when you're in there and swimming on down and just getting that whole experience once again, underwater, nice and clear. There's a few fish, little tiny fish. You, you don't even see them barely. Uh, mostly it's like a lot of leaves and stuff floating in there from all the the vines and the trees, the overhang. Um, but it's really pretty underwater as well. So you keep making your way down. They have the really nice waterfall. That was really, uh, <laughs> really nice and refreshing to go under, um, you know, on this hot day. You know, it was really nice. And then, you know, it takes you about a couple minutes to get down that river. And then you just head on to the second part, which is the kind of uh, the second cenote, which is more of a a cave, in my opinion. I think they might have carved this out, um, as you can see, and kind of made an entrance into a cave because there's not really it's not really a cavern. There's a little bit of light coming through, but I, I think this is more of a cave okay. system. So, you know, he's just telling us to go around to the right and soak around. 
uh, as you can see the video is not going to be the best in here because it's so dark but it's still pretty cool having this light coming through which i think you know they carved out as well and they got some lights underneath but it's, it's super cool and like real like you know majestic looking you know here's some uh stalactites and stalagmites underneath i don't know if i'm saying it right but they look super cool they kind of want you to stay away but uh I popped in there real quick. I got the long selfie stick. Um, and yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. And you'll see here in a second, when I put the camera underneath, I mean, you can see they go down for days. It is really deep. And it looks super like eerie down there. But I enjoy stuff like that. So it was really cool to look at. I, I brought my snorkel uh, so I can check it out as I videotape as well you know just be careful you don't want to hit any of these things it took you know many many years for them to form and and uh, you know i would hate to be the guy to to chip off one of these uh stalactites or mites or whatever they call them so yeah i popped out of there and just kind of kept working my way along but it was definitely a sight to see um you could vaguely see in the distance there was one that was huge with like a big tree trunk and it just went down underwater and you know here's me under that that hole you know trying to catch a little vibe and a lot of people would gather right here to get pictures but luckily you know I, I, I always try to avoid the crowd and when I see people coming I go the other way <laughs> so yeah just making my way out of the cave um, you know you can see they, they put some steps there so you can come out. I mean, it's really well done. Um, there'll be a little clip of, you know, the entrance right here. But you can see it's all cut out of of this cave here. It would have been interesting to see them make this. Or if they have any uh, video or photos of them making that thing. <clears throat> so, yeah, just head, heading on back out of here. Uh, you know, once you get out of that cave, this is pretty cool. You can hear all the birds kind of going crazy. I don't know why, but, you know, when I came back through, I thought that was pretty cool. I, I forgot what they're called, but they're pretty common on the island. Um, and they just make this loud noise. So, yeah, heading back up the stairs, um, I'm going to explore. You know, he said, once you're done, you can just kind of hit hit the paths and just check out uh, the whole park. Um, I believe at the end of the video, you can see the name of it. I don't remember what it is. Uh, but, yeah, so I just kind of went back out of there. You could kind of see uh, where you could drop off your, your life vest. And, and over there in the distance, those huts is where you keep your personal belongings. And they're kind of out in the open, but there are cameras and stuff there. Uh, so they record and, you know, they say it's very safe to leave your stuff. I didn't have any problems leaving my stuff there. Um, so, yeah, I don't see why anybody would. Um, so, yeah, just taking a walk down the paths. I mean, it's a beautiful park. Um, you know, there's plenty to do there other than the cenotes. Uh, right now I'm making my way up to the dining area. So food is included in this excursion, which I think is a great deal. I mean, when you think about all you're getting, I think it was about 130 bucks, 140 bucks. You know, you have a full, you know, meal that this white drink here with some, something native to the island. And, um, yeah, it was pretty authentic. The food, they say, is like their own Mayan food or whatever. But to me, it seemed like, you know, it seemed like tacos. You know, it just, everything you eat there seems like really organic. It's not processed. So it's like, it's kind of like tacos, but it just tastes more like fresh. You know, all the ingredients were fresh. It was really good. Uh, as you can see, everybody kind of got out. And there. this is probably several different buses here. You know, all the people sitting down eating. Like I said, food was delicious. You can order drinks at the bar if you want an alcoholic beverage. Um, but other than that, they have that white drink um, that's not al alcoholic that everybody can try. Beautiful pool right past the dining area. Um, you know, as far as parents and worry about your kids, it's, it seemed to be pretty shallow. I say it probably goes up to four feet deep. And over here to your right, you can see along the, the wall right here, they have these aqueducts going through the whole park and water's just running through them. You know, I'm thinking maybe they're pumping water out of that um, second cave 
to keep it from like flooding and maybe running it through the park. I could be wrong. This is just me taking a shot in the dark. Uh, so yeah, just kind of walking along the path. There's plenty of beautiful buildings and uh, you know beautiful architecture, some ruins, and it's very cool if you're into this kind of thing. Just to kind of walk around and check everything out. Um, as you can see, there's a little crowd, and, and they have guides uh, that you can take a guided tour, but I decided not to. Um, I just kind of wanted to go and do my own thing, which typically I like to do. Um, so, yeah, here's a few little structures or whatnot. Um, I mean, I cut this video down a lot, but there was just so much to see. Um, I mean, if I if I, I we were there for probably an hour and a half maybe two hours i don't know but i felt like i was walking this thing forever and eventually i just kind of got away from everybody and i felt like i was really in the middle of the jungle like in in an old you know you know movie or something you know it's, it, it was nuts it was just me by myself for the most part um because i just kind of got out of the cenotes real quick because i knew everybody would kind of crowd up so I just wanted to get through and get some good footage and kind of explore on my own. You know, so just walking through these ruins here. And then a beautiful uh, church, chapel, whatever you want to call it, um, I, I came upon. that was really well done. And it was cool how they integrated it into the structure. I mean, it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, I really enjoyed going in there and, and just, just taking it all in and, and catching a vibe, you know. I mean, it, I felt like I was in an old Western movie in here. Like, everything just looked so, you know, authentic and really cool. And, you know, the, the religious stuff is, is cool if you're into that. Um, I mean, it was done beautifully. A lot of detail. Even if you're not, I mean, you can appreciate, you know, the detail in this uh, display here. Yeah, so it's also a good place to sit down and kind of catch a little rest and, you know, think, whatnot, meditate, do whatever you do. And then you can just come on out here, the side door, and it's just a lot of, you know, beautiful trees and um, plenty of space to walk around and just chill if you want to go lay in the grass over there. Uh, I decided to just continue exploring before... Uh, the crowds catched up to me. Um, so, yeah, just a lot of buildings, you know. Um, and and some of them you'll see here in a minute. Uh, they have, like, old equipment in there from back in the day. Um, processing, like, uh, different types of, uh, you know, uh, leaves and stuff. For whatever reason, I think they use these buildings here to to make, like, yarn or something like that. I, I don't know. I couldn't really like this is the downside to not taking the guided tour uh, versus when I took it in the last video. You don't really know what's what uh, you you kind of just kind of dissect it for yourself and figure it out. Um, but it seems like maybe they were processing like these leaves and they were stripping them down to get like some kind of cordage or yarn or something like that and, and maybe making their clothing or, or whatnot. Um, but these machines look pretty cool. I mean, who knows how they ran a horsepower, maybe donkeys, people. I mean, I don't know. But once again, just popping through this, this building here, plenty of, um, space and trees. And you can see, um, coming up here on the corner, there's like some kind of, uh, little railway, uh, to, to transfer material. Um, through these machines that looks kind of like a, a press to me some kind of printer or something you know because my friend had the print shop and that looks like an old version of what he what he has but who knows um yeah just a lot of cool stuff to check out you know just following this little this little track to see kind of where it leads um There's like a bunch of little like deep holes and stuff I would find, like super sketchy stuff. 
Um, so that's the, another downside of being by yourself. You know, you don't. You just gotta be careful. Uh, you don't fall down one of these these shafts. Um, and there was plenty around there. I mean, this looked something like out of Chainsaw Massacre when I came in this room, but it looked kind of dope though. Like, you know, it was very interesting to see. And then, like I said, this is like an area that looks like they might have processed uh, those leaves right there on this board. Like they were stripping it down uh, to, to cordage and uh, making cl those bags. Um, I forgot what they're called, but you know, th those, those bags made out of that cordage. <clears throat> those sacks um, and maybe some other things. So I was just kind of walking down this path. This is kind of like a, a place you're not supposed to go. And as soon as I pop through, I see this little deer or whatever it is. And I was like, yo, this looks a lot like they're getting ready to fatten this guy up for a meal or, or some kind of celebration. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get up out of here. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I did a lot of walking around. I, I, I saw the sights. You know, it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, it was cool how they had that pool. You can go in there if you really want to walk around and, and just cool off, get yourself a drink. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed this excursion, and this park was absolutely beautiful. Um, plenty to see, uh, just catch a vibe, enjoy nature, um, and just kind of be by yourself and just think, you know, walk and think and just take it all in. I mean, there was no shortage of beautiful uh, sights at this place. It was really, really cool. And, you know, just working my way back over by the uh, by the intersection where you kind of go off to the cenote and uh, just making my way back through the main gate here onto the bus. Bus number four. There's a driver. And, yeah, man, just feeling good sitting down relaxing and and all, when we took the trip back i mean you could go through the local town and you can see how people are living i mean it just makes you appreciate what you got you know all right guys thanks and i'll see you on the next one